From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. I guess it wasn't such a blown forecast after all, although I had that question and that thought in my mind almost throughout the entire day as the cloud cover wasn't breaking apart. But we are sitting at 100 right now in Boise. Check out the record for today, 102 set back in 1897. I don't think we're likely to break the record, but it's still possible we could tie the record as we're seeing some breaks in the cloud cover. Now the cloud cover was coming in part to this disturbance that you see traveling from south to north through Oregon right now, bringing about some showers and thunderstorms and sending some moisture in our direction. And even on our walk this morning, caught a few raindrops, probably enough to catch into one hand, but not even really uh, measurable precipitation. We haven't seen that yet so far this month of August. Here's our big high pressure ridge that's over the area over the west. And we are not alone with the heat. All of the orange and pinks that you're seeing there stretching all across the western half of the U.S. Excessive heat warnings as well as heat advisories. And for our area here in southern Idaho, that will continue until Tuesday. Now I mentioned, and we know it's hot, but we also have the moisture that's coming into play. And so there is still a chance to see an isolated thunderstorm. That's most likely through our Oregon areas here, southeastern Oregon, Malheur, Harney counties. That's why red flag warnings are posted and that continues until Tuesday. But I do think it's very possible and likely that that will be extended and expanded as we continue with the chance for storms getting into this week. So you see satellite and radar imagery not clean across the area. We still have some cloud covers, but we are getting some breaks in the cloud cover. And we have maybe another batch of clouds to go before we start to clear out a bit overnight. Regardless, it's a mild start to the day tomorrow. We heat things up rather quickly. More sunshine in store for tomorrow and also a chance for thunderstorms. You see them popping up just north of Ontario toward the West Central Mountains for tomorrow evening. Those thunderstorms are possible or likely to produce some gusty outflow winds of up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. So something that we may feel the effects of here in the Treasure Valley for tomorrow. It's hot even in our mountain valleys tomorrow, you look at those temperatures well into the 90s for Stanley, McCall, Sun Valley, incredible triple digits for the Treasure Valley. We've been talking about it for days, so we knew it was coming, but watch out for yourselves. Watch out for your loved ones, your pets, your neighbors the kiddos in the car, and something I've been keeping in mind too, because you know I love my kiddie pool in the backyard, that water in the hose is super duper hot when you turn it on right away. So give it a few minutes to run free and uh, get a little bit colder before you let the kiddos play with the hose. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Not a lot of relief from the heat on the way. Gotta think of those ways to stay cool. We'll be right back after a quick break. <laughs> 